I, I'm not gonna lie, those are very important issues as well to mm -hmm. the Filipino American community. Mm -hmm. But between that and picking anong mas importante, paano natin titipirin ang pera natin, ang mga mm -hmm. Filipino Americans natin under the Biden Harris administration has been working more, mm -hmm. saving less, meaning yan less na padala sa Pilipinas compared mm -hmm. when President Trump was in office where they can see that their their wallets was filling up more and getting the opportunity to have mm -hmm. a strong and prosperous economy. So, mm -hmm. besides those important issues, the realities of life, ang mm -hmm. talagang naging motivation sa, sa pagboto ng mga tao sa mga issues na to. Along with the border issues na ang mga ating mga legal Filipino-Americans na naramdaman nila na ano bang sa sign ng pagpunta nila dito sa Amerika na legally kung papapasukin lang pala ang mga ibang tao, mga ibang mga uri mga tao para makapasok lang dito. So, yun ang mga se sentiments ng ating mga Filipino-American voters here. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm really glad na ang ating Filipino-American community is turning out in elections. Ang ating mga community ngayon ay talagang nililigawan na ng mga kandidato. Mm -hmm. Nakikita nila na napaka-importante ang boto ng Filipino-Americans. Opo. Ngayon, Sir, Sir John, ano ho? Kasi siyempre, na-invite na ni President Biden, si President-elect Donald Trump, and, and now that the mm -hmm. new, that the, sabi nga natin, version 2.0 of Donald Trump is uh, is really here. Nandito na, nararamdaman na natin. Tama ho ba yung dinig namin that one of the considerations kasama sa transition team ni President-elect Donald Trump, si Robert, si Robert Kennedy Jr.? At gaano ka-significant yung pagpili ni President Trump ng kanyang inner circle, ng kanyang cabinet sa pagbalik sa Oval Office, sir? Ay, absolutely. I think, you know, all of those decisions are important. Uh, you're gonna see a, a very diverse cabinet group from the president. Mm -hmm. I mean, makikita mo si Robert F. Kennedy Jr., si Tulsi Gabbard. These mm -hmm. are former Democratic presidential candidates mm -hmm. na they saw that the benefit of working with President Trump together Um, I think uh, RFK is going to focus a lot more on the health initiatives under mm -hmm. his administration um, and making and focusing on making America healthy again is, mm -hmm. is his priority. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of the rest of the cabinet, I'm very excited for what President Trump, kung sinong dadalhin niya, uh, na, narinig natin mula sa kanya mismo na nung unang term niya, napaka kumbaga brash ang, pag, ang governing style niya dahil yun yung first time niya but ngayon you are seeing a more matured more seasoned and more disciplined President Trump mm -hmm. that's gonna bring a more uh, diverse uh, cabinet that's gonna be a lot more professional less drama and focused on the mandate of the American people mm -hmm. um, as you can see by the election results Apo.